Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth, Martial Art Fitness, and I am off on a three day weekend sleep and a Memorial Day weekend. I hope you all are being safe, you know, traveling, doing whatever it is that you guys do on the weekends when you have off. If you're working, traveling, be safe. Even if you're at your job, be safe. No matter what. Um, but I'm just saying is that when the reason why I have not made any videos lately is because I've been trying to study up on some new material um, for my channel. Um, I'm trying to study up on some new things um, just by by reading. I've been reading the complete. Sashi book by Marines and other works. Um, very good book so far. Um, probably about like one of the best books I've read out of a long time. Um, I read a lot of martial art books to study up on. Um, I mostly read a lot of philosophy books, but um, when it comes to training, I just learn offline and online and stuff. When it comes to training on. Um, to learn anything new and uh, basically I do have a book collection of every martial arts system other than only two styles I have not got the three styles I have not got any um, maybe like four there's probably four of them that I haven't probably got any books on of uh, of systems of martial arts um, I don't have a book on sumo, sumo wrestling, I don't have a book on that one, which I'm planning to get in the future, because um, I just watched uh, Sensei Seth off of uh, you, you, his YouTube channel, he done some sumo, and then I, then I turned around and watched um, Sanctuary, um, they were doing sumo in the movie, in the whole season, yeah, you know, sumo, yeah, it's just pushing and pushing your opponent around in the ring. Um, martial art pushing, um, basically judo. It's like a form of wrestling in a way. It's, a, it, it's more like you got to push your opponent out of the ring. And it is physical. I mean, I have tried it a few times myself. When it comes to judo, not judo, but um, when it comes to sumo, and um, I have tried a little bit of it, but I just didn't like the training method of it. You know, it just didn't seem practical. And unless, you know, now um, I watched a season of it, of Sanctuary, and it turned out to be a badass series. Um, yeah, it was about a bunch of fat men training, you know, one time champion, you know, for CML in Japan. And, I mean, it was that intense of a movie season on Netflix. And there's a new series out, too, and it is called Sanctuary. Um, now, the other book style system I do want to study is. Um, Capriella. Um, I have a movie on it that is based off the movie, off the style of Capriella, and it's called Only the Strong. Um, now that is a good movie. Uh, it it it's an eighties eighties and seventies movie. It's, it's it's really 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 old classic, um, but it has the style of martial art Capriella. In it, and I was just like, I want to learn that system, but there is no school around my area that actually learn that system. And I mean, it's just that you know, you can get on YouTube and learn it, but you know, to me, for me to be able to learn a martial art, I have to try to class, try a class out on it. That way, I can get a one on one attention from. Structure. Um, that way, the instructor can 
face me, you know, pay attention to me, you know, what I need to work on, and we'll go from there. And sorry if I keep looking away from the camera, I am updating a video game on my X Xbox, just trying to make sure it's still working and still trying to update. I switched the internet, I am done with HughesNet, and yeah, I mean, I am still done with HughesNet, and I said I got so tired of um, their providing provider internet and they kind of cheated me in a way and which I didn't think was right I'm not going to explain on this video um, but this internet that I got now it looks a lot better than HughesNet um, I'm just saying T-Mobile Hotspot is the best way to go um, I mean there's, it's unlimited I mean there's no catch to it it's just like, it's real cheap in my, it's like 50, 50 bucks a month for internet. I was maybe like paying like 65 to 70 dollars for 20 gigs a month for HughesNet. And if I would use that 20 gigs up for a game update, then my internet speed would be gone. And so... There you have it. That's the reason why I switched the internet. That's the reason why I haven't really been uploading a whole lot of videos. Um, because there's some days weather is shitty around my area. So there you have it. Um, but the book on Copperell, I do. I am going to probably get in the future um, to learn and study up on. But to me, I would just take a class on it. But I'm not going to travel. out of state or something like that um just to go travel and you know, study in the system um but you know if they can come to like the nearest gym you know and meet me i said yeah any person that knows copyella and if they want to train in martial arts you know have a partner to train with in martial arts you know Come find me in Iberia. I mean, I'll be willing to train. And, um, but the thing of it is, is that, um, I like to learn out books, but my main systems that I do learn out of books really good on are Chinese martial arts. Um, Karate and Japanese martial arts. Um, mostly Japanese, I do really get good at. Some Chinese martial arts, um, it takes a lot of flexibility, and I don't really have a lot of flexibility to um, do Chinese martial arts, but I take what um, techniques they have in them, and I just kind of blend it in with went it in with my own system of karate and so not why I can just be like okay this is how it's done this basically is borrowing the technique and in, into my own arsenal uh, out of Chinese Kung Fu I mean because I don't really do none of the flowery forms that much anymore and, and it's just like it's really like non-practical to use in self-defense and um but forms are good for you know when it comes to forms on katas and and um, karate and stuff you know it's good for coordination working out uh, on cardio um basis you know if you don't have a training partner and you know that's a good way you know to work on your conditioning is doing katas and stuff like that and I just, the other day, I did cause outside, and I should have filmed my training session, but I thought, ah, I know, I'm going to take a break from filming for a while, and, and um, I might upload it at a once in a while, but it's like I said, you know, I have a life on the outside now, I have a dog to take care of, 
you know, she's she's a good girl and everything, and uh, she's a new member of my family. I have her up right now, where you know I have time alone. Um, but um, yeah, it's just, I mean, she she's part of the family. She does really good when she's out and everything, and, and she very protective of me, um, but I, you know, I do train in martial arts on my own, and I learn on other YouTubers, uh, out there channel, you know, I might borrow a technique off theirs, off their video, that I might apply it to my own, but it ain't really my technique, it's some techniques that I have are somebody else's techniques that I learned off of a video, um, that's one of the, really learn martial arts off of is uh, Slovarine. Now, if you want to learn about boxing, um, I want to say uh, precision striking, that's like the best way to learn about boxing. Um, then you got, then you have like hard, hard to hit, hard to hurt, um, yeah, hard to hurt. Um, that's another good YouTube channel to learn about boxing and other self-defense tactics. Um, his name is Icy Mike. Um, great YouTuber. Um, now, if you want to learn kung fu. Um, there are a lot of YouTube channels out there that have good kung fu um, stuff on it. Um, you can learn from Kevin Chan, or uh, you can learn from Zen Dragon. Um, now, if you want to just do like cardio aspects of kung fu, kung fu for life, uh, he he does a lot of food conditioning um, in their video, his videos um, basically just yeah I mean I learned from everything you know I just don't learn from one source I don't learn this from the internet um, I learn mostly out of books too um, I might see some things on movies um, like a training session you know, like an old kung fu movie or something, you know, I might watch a lot of old kung fu movies and I might see a technique, you know, that the person does in the movie and then I would try to apply it into my own, mix into the traditional aspects of martial arts because usually most of the kung fu movies, they have traditional martial arts in them. So, and the thing of it is, I've always liked the older Kung Fu movies because, you know, I've always liked the, the master and the pupil scene in the movies um, when it comes to training. Um, that's with uh, anybody um, that does martial arts, the old person will become a sensei to them. You become the pupil, and then if the sensei thinks you're eligible once you get up the black belt to go on your own journey, then they'll set you free and let you figure things out on your own and let you learn new heights and new limits on your own. And that's what my instructor did to me. And so, the reality is, and I mean, the reason why I still practice martial arts today is that it's good therapy. I mean, it helps my back out, it probably helps my feet out, it helps me stay limber, even though I'm not really that limber that much. Um, it helps me stay more alert when it comes to people standing right behind me. Um, I'm getting more quieter in my footsteps at work where they can't really hear me anymore at work when I walk, so, 
And then and it's just funny because they're like, how do you do that? You're like, your feet are as light as nothing. And I said, and I was talking about, I said, it's just doing some new type of training. And so to, to be light on my feet. And, and so, and she, she just couldn't believe it. And, so I didn't even hear you coming, and she's like, I usually hear people come and behind me, and, and I said, I just worked on my stealthness. So, um, I guess that's an art of ninja, you know, I'm not a ninja, but most people call me ninja, because usually I'm usually quiet around at work and stuff, uh, anymore, and people don't even realize I'm in the building anymore. They know I'm there, but they just don't know where I'm at half the time. And when I am doing my work, so I made it fun for me too. I'm here to make it fun for everybody else. I'm not here to talk about work. I'm here to talk about martial arts training and stuff like that. What I do on my spare time when I'm not making films. I have been keeping up with my training, even though I haven't made any videos lately. Um, so like I said, I just sorry for that YouTube and I do apologize. It's just that some days I just need a break from YouTube for a little bit, you know, making time and just, you know, work on things for myself and and not for doing it for anybody else, you know. That's another way for me to learn something new on my own and to work on new things when I take a break for a while on filming and stuff like that. And the main reason was is that I switched to internet providers. Some days when the weather is crappy, it, it's just a signal on how it is and everything else. And um, but like I said, just be yourself who you are. I don't care how you train, you know, as long as you get up. Uh, the train, train on the train smart, you know, do your research. And basically just, uh, um, be safe about it. And like I said, you know, it doesn't matter where it comes from or what the system is. If you think it's a good martial art, practice it. Um, who cares what people think of it? Who cares what people think of you when they're out there practicing it? I mean, I have people drive by my house all the time. When they see me out there practicing in the yard, um, they just drive by. They sometimes stop and ask. Um, they sometimes stop and watch me. So, um, you know, sometimes they think some of the stuff that I do is fascinating. Um, Another reason why I quit training at a dojo is because they always have this rule don't train outside of the public and uh, only train, train in the classroom. And I'm like, well, I look at it this way, well, how can you just um, train in the uh, dojo? Uh, just in the dojo, and I said, you know, he wants to train on the outside, you know, the better our techniques to improve. Well, if we keep, if how can we improve on some if we can only just practice it in the dojo? And, okay, I see your point. And I said, that's the reason why I just kind of quit doing the dojo thing is because mainly my instructor teaching there at school and uh, he said he was getting tired of it um, but he said there was nothing there for him to learn and and he said he taught me everything that he could teach me and I'm like and he looked at me and said you know he's got to find your own way and and do what works for you. So I said, I'm Seth Martial Arts Fitness, and I just want to say, you know, have a happy Memorial Day weekend.
be safe, be who you are, train hard, train smart, and I'm not say please hit the like, subscribe, like most YouTubers do, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.